and welcome back. We are setting up a sound component and explaining how to use the AGR Pro uh, 2.0 update sound component in your game project. So uh, let's get back in and I want to explain one last very important thing is that right now our sound master is using this out of footstep placement uh, traces that if I go into show debug, I compile and hit play. You can see where my footsteps are being placed automatically, but this is not a perfect system as when you have a lot of locomotion, sometimes those uh, legs hit surface multiple times and until the next leg triggers, the first one cannot trigger or they trigger twice, uh, but it's at least, okay. So you can, you can break the system with auto footsteps a lot easier than if you are using notifications. So let's start using notifications just for those, um, uh, for those animations. So let's go here. Let's go into our rifle pro base pose. Let's find our standing moving blend space and let's find all those jug aim okay mm. loops i guess they will be loops Okay, so this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and this one is twice. So it should be eight animations for jog and eight for walk. Uh, I'll just use all those loops. Let's open them. will take a while okay it opened a new window why not and let's go through those animations so I will pause them and I will look at the legs and I will just place notifications whenever I think a footstep should happen so here here I go into notifications right click add notification I already have HR footstep notify Let's add this one and let's add another one. Okay. Okay. So this was um, the left leg and this is, oh, oh, I mean, this was the right leg and this one is the left leg, right? So I can either go into here and specify it, uh, foot socket name and this is not uh, okay we have to rename this variable because this is not uh, the socket name uh, on the skeleton it's the one that we have specified in our config so if i go here here in our uh, configuration oh, let's just make it drop down i have feed definition so I have those definitions left and right and I can use those keys to specify which foot is down but I'm not going to do that uh, I'm just going to go with all the animations without specifying anything because I have only two feet and here they are never touching the ground at the same time so I shouldn't have any issues uh, with them competing against each other so I will just uh, leave it as default test all and this is very specific naming. You just don't touch it at all and it will work automatically. So we'll go here. Okay, I don't think we are using this arc movement, but I'm going to place those notifications as well because it's super fast to do so. Bam. Bam. Okay, next one. Yeah. 
here and let's say here close enough another arc that we are not using but I'm going to add them anyway in case we will use them in future okay 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 next one here and here that will work for us okay save all of them let's go back here let's go here and now not a jog but walk aim walk aim but not crouching so it's all those animations let's go and we're going the same thing right and last one i think it's the last one it's left okay and that's everything save all close this window and now we have uh, all footsteps in uh, all of those we can also do one more thing we can go here here standing idle idle stop and we can add for those two okay we can add here and this one will be right and this one will be left okay and the last one is this one Okay, this is right and this is left. So now we have also stop animations that also makes sense. Okay, let's close everything, go back to our examples, hit play and let's listen to it. Okay, so right now we're still doing auto placement. Okay, oh, and turn in place. We have to do that one as well. So let's go back here. Mm, rifle Pro. Uh, idle, turn in place. Let's edit those as well. Okay, that's right. And this one is left. And the other one. Okay, it starts with left. Oh. Left. And this is right. Okay, now we got everything. So how it works is that if I have auto placement, it will just do auto placement and will ignore uh, any notifications that we have. So right now, if I do turn in place, there is no sound for turn in place and there is no sound for stopping except the automatically placed ones. But if I turn off auto placement right now, if I hit play, it will be a lot more precise oh unless for animations i haven't set because i see no backwards okay so we haven't added to all of the animations i guess but turn in place now will make 
make sound. It's very silent because we we don't have actual velocity. Okay. And stop animation. Okay. I guess uh, that's almost everything. So basically in our notifications, if we specified default test all, it will test all feet that we have defined here and search 15 uh, centimeters down, right now 15, uh, and see if any of the foot is touching the ground. However, if we specified a key like left or right, it will uh, only test this one specific leg that we specified and ignore all others. So this is how you can use it. And uh, yeah, like the auto one is very good for very quick prototyping and it's, it gives you really not bad results. But sometimes for some animations like those walking backwards, you maybe just need a little longer traces, let's say 20, maybe that's the problem. Okay, but 20 is a bit too much for auto placement, like you can see. Uh, but if I turn off auto placement and I leave 20 as the surface trace, maybe, yeah, now. Okay, diagonals are not set. So now it's a lot more responsive and we can have really long traces because that doesn't matter. We can even set up 100 because it will trigger only... Oh, okay, no, uh, 100 on running will, will not do because we said test all. But if we did specify all keys left and right, then this wouldn't really matter. It will just mean how long the traces can be, um, say 17, uh, in, order, in order for it to work. So right now 17 might be best setting for us, but we have to specify a lot more notifications in the animations to make it look really good. And we have parameters, we have different surfaces, and we can switch between male and female sounds. We have particles, we have, uh, we can make notifications to AI system about characters making sound in specific location and with specific uh, volume. And we can control uh, every aspect of this system directly through blueprints. And we can also extend our uh, um, plugin uh, component to add your own functionalities, add your own variables read variables to other components and override certain calculation functions, still using the entire system as was designed. Thank you for listening and look forward to new components that will be added to this uh, ever-growing library of uh, game design easing components. Thanks and uh, see you soon guys, bye.